I had no clue. All I knew was that I was getting worse and worse inside than outside. What I mean by that is I felt pain inside that I could not express. Initially, it was just very frightening. You know, the, a lot of people in the general public, they don't know what schizophrenia is. And most people think that schizophrenia is something that it is not. My life was, let's say you have one life where it's just plain and miserable. That you didn't know what you were doing, what you felt. It's like your life felt like trash. And so, basically life that you have with schizophrenia and you don't even know that you have it, it you feel depressed, you feel miserable. So, that is how I felt. I felt like that I just didn't want to be here. I just didn't, just didn't want to live. That's how I felt. We were very thankful to finally have a diagnosis. We were extremely thankful to be getting help and to know that there are medications that they can give that will help with the symptoms, that will help with the aggression and the violence, and we can have a safe and relatively normal life. The study compared olanzapine and risperidone, which are two of the most widely used new or atypical antipsychotics, and an older drug called molendone, um, which is one of the antipsychotics that was developed in the 50s. We went into the study really expecting to find that the two newer drugs, the risperidone and the lanzapine, were much superior to the older drug molendone. In fact, we had had a lot of debates when we started the study whether it was even ethical to include one of the older drugs because everybody assumed the newer drugs would perform so much better. And what we found is that all three drugs reduce symptoms to pretty much the same extent. There was no difference in how much the symptoms were reduced over time or how quickly they were reduced over time or at least in the acute phase how long people stayed on them. It was very hard for him and it was very hard on his self-esteem to have this weight gain and his friends viewed him differently, he viewed himself differently, um, his looks changed dramatically. And it's, it's hard to sit back and watch your child go through that but at the same time your life is getting a little bit better. This was really a, a kind of eye-opening to realize the medications had such severe side effects in children and that they occurred in almost all the children who were treated with the medications. He's doing really well right now. Um, they have him on a medication that he's doing extremely well socially. He has a lot more friends. They do a lot more activities together. He is enjoying his life a lot right now and he is almost an average teenager. <laughs> I feel like that I have a purpose. I feel like that if I can change one life with a schizophrenia then those people can as well. Our life from three years ago till now there is just no comparison and I, it, it's just unbelievable how good that our life is and if this is what medical research does then they just need to do as much of it as they can fund because it's unbelievable. For schizophrenia people they are special in a unique way if they have friends that can really help them.